Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of your Wheel and Anchor weekly newsletter. Still here on the beautiful island of Madeira as we go into the final week of our Live Away program here, we've been having a marvelous time uh, and the, the weather has changed uh, a little bit for the worse in the last couple of days. We had some spectacular weather in the first two weeks of our stay. Um, but Mother Nature is showing us her, her other side on this Atlantic island. And so I've uh, put up this uh, background here for a, of a photo that I took uh, a few days ago uh, here on the north coast of the island. And as you can see, uh, it is absolutely incredible scenery. And so uh, if you're thinking about uh, a getaway for next winter and want to consider Madeira, uh, we are having a webinar about that uh, this coming Thursday. I'll mention that at the end of the, the video. A bit of a somber week uh, for me and for all of us, uh, given the events that have transpired. And I, I uh, know I don't usually venture into uh, the uh, uh, political arena as, as far as current affairs are concerned, but uh, it's hard not to make commentary on uh, what has been happening uh, on the European continent. Uh, and I know a lot of people are concerned, uh, mostly, of course, for, uh, you know, the people of Ukraine and uh, how uh, this situation will um, unfold. Uh, I am generally an, an optimist, uh, but I, I must say that uh, I'm perhaps not the only one who didn't really foresee or at least hope that uh, it, it wouldn't come to this situation. And so um, we'll have to see. Uh, what happens next. Um, but in the long, long term, I, I do believe that some form of stability will be restored, um, even if the uh, actions uh, that have been taken um, by uh, the, the, the powers that be in, in Russia are uh, surprisingly aggressive and unnecessary. Uh, and, you know, for one thing for me, I'm, I'm a big believer in that travel is something that we do to um, really appreciate the differences that exist across the world and across um, humanity. And it's one of those things that, um, that I celebrate. I mean, that's, that's the reason that we, we travel around the world is to see what life is like for other people and to celebrate those differences. Uh, and so it seems like a big step backward uh, when the differences uh, between, between people and between, you know, ethnic groups and languages and so, so forth is, um, such that it, uh, you know, brings people to war. Um, but that is, I guess, the, the reality of civilization. And uh, this is not the first and will probably not be the last time that this type of thing unfolds as, as tragic as it is. So, um, but I will regain my optimism uh, as it relates to uh, the global political situation and as it relates specifically to travel. Uh, and uh, we'll obviously see what impact this may have. But again, I, I remain uh, cautiously optimistic that um, uh, certainly for events in the short term that uh, there'll be no effect on our trips. Uh, of course, we had a webinar earlier this week uh, about the Trans-Siberian Railway, which of course covers the entire continent or almost the entire uh, continent and country of, of Russia. Uh, and of course, there are certainly dark clouds that have been cast over our ability to undertake that trip in the fall, but we will be monitoring it as everything, as, uh, as all uh, current situations and, uh, and how they may impact our travel. So, uh, but my most important message is that I think we should all stand together and uh, pray for the people of the Ukraine and that uh, we get through this crisis with a minimal loss to, to human life. Uh, so on that note, um, as I say, I will be bringing to you our next webinar this coming Thursday, March the 3rd at 11 o'clock uh, about this beautiful highland here of Madeira, where we'll be coming back next year for another wonderful Live Away program. Uh, and following that, I will be embarking on our second Live Away program to Cyprus, uh, which commences shortly after on March the 8th. So looking forward to welcoming a new group of members um, for a new uh, travel experience on this wonderful island in the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, and then we will be also doing our next webinar 
then on March the 10th uh, on the island of Malta. So that'll be a new program that we are introducing for 2023. Uh, and uh, there will be more liveaways yet to come. So stay tuned for that. Uh, take care of yourselves and uh, think of any uh, people that you have over in Eastern Europe. Uh, and uh, let's all stand together for them. And I will look forward to catching up with you again next week.